journal in the books of B, journal in the books of A. A owed B rupees 400. A accepted a bill of exchange at 3 months for this amount, which B discounted it for 380. Fine. A gave his acceptance to B. That is B debited to bills payable account, being the acceptance given to B. Rupees 400 in the debit and credit columns. And journal in the books of B, it will be bills receivable account debited to A, being the acceptance of A received. 400 in the debit, 400 in the credit column. Next one, after getting the bill, we discounted at rupees 380 in the bank. That is, bank account debited rupees 380, debit the receiver. Discount account debited, debit all expenses and losses. This is now the expenditure of B. That is rupees 20 to bills receivable account. That is 400. Being the bill discounted at bank. And there will be no entry in the books of A for this case. And at the due date, pass journal entries in the following cases. Case 1, dishonored on the due date. Dishonored on the due date. That is A to bank. If the bill is dishonored in the books of A, it will be bills payable account debited to B. Being the acceptance given to B dishonored, 400, 400. No noting charges. The reverse of the entry number 1. And in the books of B, it will be A to bank. That is, if the bill is dishonored on the due date, A debited to bank. Being the acceptance discounted at bank dishonored. The next one is made at a maturity. In the books of A, if the bill is made at a maturity, bills payable account debited to cash account. Being the acceptance given to B is met, that is 400 in the debit as well as in the credit column. And in the books of B, that will be, if the bill is met at maturity, there will be no entry. The payment is met and the payment will be received by bank. Because holder in due course, now the bill is with the bank. It is discounted there, bank will be getting the money. C. Retired under rebate of 6% per annum 2 months before maturity. 2 months before maturity. 3 months was the bill tenor. It was retired before 2 months. After 1 month and before 2 months. Hence, the rebate will be calculated for 2 months. That is, if the bill is retired under rebate of a, at 6% per annum for 2 months before its maturity, then bills payable account debited 400 to cash account 396 to rebate account rupees 4. Being the bill retired 2 months before its maturity and the amount of rebate that is rupees 400 at 6% for 2 months that is equal to rupees 4 is earned. And in the same process in the books of A, sorry in the books of B it will be if the bill is retired under a rebate at 6% per annum. Be 2 months before its maturity, that is cash account debited, rebate account debited to bills receivable account. Being the re bill retired 2 months before its maturity and the amount of rebate is 400 into 6 percent into 2 by 12, that is rupees 4 is allowed. If the bill is kept with the drawer and it is retired under rebate, then these entries will be passed. It, it is, this entry will not be passed here. If the bill is kept with the drawer B, then this entry will be passed, but the bill was discounted at bank. So, please here write down no entry. In case of C, there will be no entry because bank will be getting the payment. In case of C, in the books of B, no entry. And in case of A, in the books of A, the C entry will be, is this is the entry what is given there. And the totaling of the journal will be 1600 for A and that of B is 1600 same and this is the final answer.